Hi there. Christina, your head of community and learning here at MonkeyPod, showing you around our import tools. You can find all of our import tools here. Here you'll see your relationship data import, pre-MonkeyPod transactions, current transactions, other imports, and you can also view your import history. Let's take a look at a relationship data import. People come first. So if you're importing donations, you'll have to import your donors first. Remember, MonkeyPod is a fully integrated system, which means that your donors, vendors, program participants, board members, and anybody you interact with on a regular basis will be in one system. Let's go ahead here and take a look at the import template. MonkeyPod understands that each organization keeps track of unique data, so we can help you generate an import template. If you're going to add any custom attributes, we recommend doing that before you generate the import template. So here you'll see our most popular things that are in most imports. You might also want to consider something like pronouns, how they want their name published, and website. Here are the custom attributes that we entered in before we went to generate the import template. So why are they awesome and donor preferences? From here, we can go ahead and download our template, fill it out and get ready to upload the information. If you need more instructions on what these fields mean or what's required when, etc., you can go ahead and click on these extra instructions and they will show you everything that you need to know about the specifics of each field. Let's go ahead and take a look at our import. So here you'll see the type. The relationship type is a factual thing about the relationship. Are they an individual, an organization, a foundation, etc.? You'll also see in column K here the roles. So in this case, our roles are donor, board, and awesome for this one person. You'll also notice here for our donor preferences, this is a bank of checkboxes that we just separated out with a comma. And then this is a freeform notes field. Once your data import is prepped and ready, you can go ahead and select this checkbox. You can then drag and drop your file or select it from your file explorer. Next, we'll review our import. Here you'll see a relationship record as it would be in the import. So you can see here are the answers to their custom attributes, etc. You can then scroll through and go through each record and see what it would look like. In this screen, you also decide what you want to do if it seems like this is a duplicate record of a record that's already in MonkeyPod. If you select skip the duplicate and move on to the next role, this will keep the record in MonkeyPod and will ignore the record in your import file. If you click delete and replace the existing MonkeyPod record, this will delete and replace any data in the existing record. If you're not sure, we recommend selecting allow duplicate email addresses to be treated as new records and then use our duplicates manager to manage the import. From here, you can click run import and get a look at your running. Total records in the file three, there were two that were importing and there's one that's considered invalid. You can download any invalid records to get information on why they weren't imported. So for instance, here in column A, we notice that the organization name field is required. So in the instructions, if something is a type organization, you must include the organization name field. Once you go ahead and fix all of these import errors, you can re-import and then you're ready to go. In general, our imports function similar to this one. You'll see here our pre-MonkeyPod transaction imports are donations and sales that are before your MonkeyPod bookkeeping start date. Any current transactions are revenue, expenses, or journal entries that are from this current fiscal year. And our other import are tags and items that you may need for your pre-MonkeyPod transactions or your current transactions. If you would like more assistance with your data imports, go ahead and enter data migration and hit enter into our beacon. This will bring up data migration articles that are very detailed and go over our import templates in much more detail. If you still need help, go ahead and click on our beacon to submit a request to support at monkeypod.io. You can also join us on Welcome Wednesdays every Wednesday to get help on anything MonkeyPod related that you need. Thanks. Bye.